Okay, so let's have hydraulics and principles of the technical engineering. November 2022. First problem natin. The pressure in a gas tank is 2.75 atmospheres. Compute the gauge pressure in kilopascals. So we have this formula, the absolute pressure is equal to gauge plus its atmospheric pressure. Okay, it doesn't mean na uh, this is atmospheric. Ito na yan, ha? Atmospheric pressure natin is 1 atmosphere. Ito unit yan. So, we want to solve for the gauge pressure. So, gauge pressure will be equal to absolute minus atmospheric pressure. Yung given dyan, that's the, at, uh, the absolute pressure. Which is 2.7 atmosphere. Yep. Uh, yung ating atmospheric pressure is 1. 1 atmosphere. So, we will have here 1.75 atmosphere. Then, if you want to uh, have the gauge pressure in kilopascal, conversion factor. Every 1 atmosphere is 101.325 kilopascal. So, cancel. Then, we have here 177.32. Okay. So, napakadali. November 2022 yan. Next. An iceberg having a specific gravity of 0 0.9 floats in a salt water having a specific gravity of 1.03 if the volume of the ice above the surface is 500 cubic meters what is the volume of the iceberg so let's say yung ating um, water level uh, salt water yung uh, liquid natin specific gravity is 1.03 an iceberg is floating so ito yung ating iceberg Specific gravity of this iceberg is 0 0.9. Okay? Now, the volume above the ice, uh, I mean the volume of ice above the surface is 500 cubic meters. Ito yan. Ito yung volume above the water surface, 500 cubic meters. And let's say the volume below the water surface is volume displaced. Alright? So, kailangan lang natin dito is to expose the forces here. We have here the weight of the iceberg. And kung nakalubog siya sa tubig, meron tayong buoyant force. Tawag nyo siya F sub B. So, conditions of equilibrium, uh, equilibrium yung gagamitin natin. Obviously, yung weight is equal to the buoyant force. Okay? So, basic formula of weight, if you have here a uh, density, no, now, dito, unit weight of the iceberg times the volume of the total iceberg. Yan yung weight ng ating iceberg. Then, buoyant force, that's gamma of the liquid times the volume the space. Buoyant force is gamma of the liquid kung saan siya nakasubmerge. Times its volume the space. Okay? So, we can replace the gamma to Sg times the gamma of water. Specific gravity of the iceberg times the gamma of water times the volume of the iceberg. Ito yung inahanap natin. Then yung ating gamma of the seawater is Sg of seawater times gamma of water, which is 9.81. Then times volume of the space. Again, yung inahanap natin here is the volume of the iceberg. So, lagyan natin ng values. The specific gravity of the iceberg is 0 0.9. All right. Magka-cancel dito yung gamma water. Diretso tayo sa volume of iceberg. Then, specific gravity of the seawater is 1.03. Volume displaced, yung volume displaced here, that's the total volume of the iceberg minus 500 cubic meters. So, volume of iceberg minus 500 cubic meters. Then, the answer here is... Um, 3961.54 but that's 3962 cubic meters all right next a piece of wood having a specific gravity of 0 0.65 uh, is 70 millimeters square and 1.5 meters long how many kilograms of lead fastened at one end of the wood so that it will float in upright upright position with 0 0.3 meters projecting out when the water uh, when the when it is floating in water specific gravity of the lead is 11.2 so 
So again, that's the buoyancy. You, you just need to equate the forces, which is the weight and the buoyant force. Alright, let's say to yung ating wood. It is floating. It is 7, um, 70 mm by 70 mm square. Or 0 0.07 meters. In terms of meters tayo. The specific gravity here of the wood is 0 0.65. Okay? And it will float in upright position. Then, naka naka-expose yung ating 0 0.3 meters above the water. So, ito yan. 0 0.3 meters. Okay? Then, ito yung ating 1.5 meters. Yung length ng ating wood. Then, let's set yung lead natin. Lalagyan natin ng lead sa baba. The specific gravity of the lead here is 11.2. Again, basta ganito yung problem, you just need to equate the forces here, which is the weight and the buoyant force. Try natin i-isolate in plain view. So, 0 0.3 meters. If you have here 1.5 meter, yung matitira dito, yung submerge is 1.2. 1.5 minus 0 0.3. So, we have here the weight of the wood. Meron din weight yung lead. Dagdag yung weight ng lead dyan. Okay? Then, meron tayong buoyant force on the wood. Itong nakasubmerge sa wood. Buoyant force natin. Aside from that, meron tayong buoyant force um, on the... Meron tayong buoyant force dito sa ating lead. Da? Ayan. Sa talita. Hindi na gumagana. Alright, meron tayong buoyant force dito sa Yan Okay So, ang gagawin natin is um, alam, Alamin natin yung basic formulas dito Again, weight is gamma times volume no? So, in terms of specific gravity You have here specific gravity of uh, Specific liquid or specific object Times the gamma of water times its volume. And buoyant force is gamma of the liquid kung saan nakasubmerge yung ating object times its volume displaced. Yung nasubmerge sa water. So as you can see here that the total weight of uh, the total weight here which is the wood plus the lead wood plus the weight of the lead must be equal to the to total buoyant force upward which is the buoyant force on the wood is a uh, submerged wood and the buoyant force of the lead. Of course, yung lead natin nag-submerge yan totally. Alright, after that, so yung weight, yung weight natin is SG gamma water test volume. So specific gravity here for the wood is 0 0.65. Ito yan. Okay, of course, times gamma of water times the volume of wood. Ano yung volume ng wood natin? So you have here uh, prism, square prism, 0 0.07 times 0 0.07 multiplied by 1.5 meters. Okay, so ito yung volume natin. Now, the weight of lead, yung weight ng lead here is uh, specific gravity of the lead which is 11.2 plus gamma water. Then multiply natin ng volume of lead. Okay, so ano ba yung volume ng lead natin? Then, equate natin sa buoyant force on the wood. So, equal to gamma of the liquid. So, this is a water. A gamma of water, then multiply sa volume displaced ng wood. So, yung nasa merge mismo. So, ito yung nasa merge natin. We only have 1.2 meters of height na nasa merge. And yung area is 0 0.07. Walang problema. Then, plus yung volume, I mean, yung ating buoyant force for the lead. So, plus gamma of water. Again, uh, basta buoyant force, gamma of the liquid kung saan na submerge yung ating object. Times the volume of the lead. Alright, notice that yung unknown dito is the volume of lead. And we can cancel all the gamma water to simplify the calculation. So, makukuha natin dito yung gamma of lead, which is 1.08 uh, times 10 raised to negative 4 cubic meters. Take note, gusto natin makuha 
how many kilograms of lead? Yung mass. So, yung mass, mass of the lead, is equal to density of lead times the volume of the lead. Meron na tayong volume. Yung density natin is specific gravity, which is 11.2, times the density of water, 1,000 kg per cubic meters, multiplied by the volume of lead, which is 1.08 times 10 raised to negative 4. So the mass of the lead here is 1.21 kg. Okay? Now, dalawang problem ito sa board exam. Ginawa niyang itemize. Yung isang tanong naman, instead na kilograms, ginawa niyang um, newtons. How many newtons? But the same solution lang. So, ang gagawin na natin, yung mass ng lead, which is in kilogram, i-multiply lang natin ng gravitational acceleration. So, you have 1.21 kilogram times 9.81 meters per square second. So, the lead, um, the weight of lead in newtons is 11.87. Okay? 